We've got the geometry roughed in pretty good matching the artwork, but so far we've been looking at the wireframe laid on top of the artwork picture. Now we want to switch to seeing the projected image on top of our geometry. So we're going to switch to the projected camera setup. To do that, we'll switch to the 2D view. We're going to need just a little bit more of our node space down here. We're now ready to put in a project 3D node to project the artwork on top of our geometry. So I'm going to bring up the artwork here, go to the 3D tab, go to the shaders, and select a project 3D node. And we're going to hook that up to our projection camera. Next, we need to attach it to our geometry. To do that, we'll select Transform Geo, go to Shaders, and select Apply Material. So this will apply the material. The material I'm going to apply is the 3D camera projection. We saw how to do this before in the camera projection exercise. Our viewer wipe is set for over, so we're going to just turn off the viewer wipe. So now we're looking at just the projected texture map over our geometry. We don't need the Apply Material Property panel open anymore or the Project 3D. Now we're ready to fine-tune the cube. Remember, we're now looking at the projected artwork over our geometry. So let's cruise down here. We'll zoom in a little bit. And if I hide the cube property panel, the wireframe disappears. So we can now refine the cube. For example, I could extend the scale in X. Whoops, now I'm seeing black, so I've gone too far. So we'll bring that back. I'll cut it in too far. Oops, now I've trimmed off part of the building. So we can sit here and iterate on this until we find the sweet spot for the geometry. We'll zoom out, fit the viewer. We're now viewing the artwork projected over one cube with this flat gray background. 